Jack, I'm year 12 at Rosemary College and I'm interested in careers in the heavy haulage industry. The heavy haulage industry specialises in trucks and trailers designed to take loads that are heavier, longer, higher and wider than are allowed on standard vehicles. Driving these big rigs requires in-depth training and intensive experience and Nick is going to gain a glimpse of these by spending a day with the drivers and trucks from long established trucking firm Smith & Davies. G'day Nick. G'day Peter. How are you mate? Good. Thank yeah, you would you. like to learn something about heavy haulage driving? Yes I do. Good, good. Peter good. Douglas good. is the company's good. heavy haulage manager. First up, he and Nick head off to Smith & Davies North Shore Yard where a 38 tonne digger is about to be taken on a 10k journey through the suburbs. What type of person makes a good driver? What does Smith & Davies look for in a person? Uh, we look for uh, people who are uh, conscientious um, of not only of themselves but what's going on around them and a um, person who can get on and do the job, a person who is willing to listen and learn at the same time and uh, most of all within the heavy haulage industry they need to be able to uh, think outside the square a wee bit. At the yard, right, please, Peter introduces Nick to driver William who is going to transport the digger later today. Nick, William. This is a Mercedes-Benz CD353, 530 horse. This Mercedes yep. truck has many high-tech features, including the ability to widen the trailer. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start the truck up, engage the PDO so we can widen the trailer. So if you want to jump up, I'll show you how to do that. PTO stands for Power Takeoff, a unit that diverts the engine power to the trailer's hydraulics. So now you can hear the PDO's engaged, now we can widen the trailer. So why do we widen the trailer? It's for its added stability for cornering and so you don't roll over basically. So at the moment the trailer's set at 2.5 which is standard legal road travel. So now it's yep. Nick's job to widen the trailer far enough to take the digger. They initially expand the trailer out to 3.1 metres which is the full width legally allowed without needing a pilot vehicle. The role of the pilot vehicle is basically to notify the members of the public that there's something big coming up behind the pilot wagon um, and uh, basically to look after the other road users on the road at the same time as the load. Next they need to measure the digger to work oh, out no, whether three, that's six. going to be wide enough. Um, we'll just check the, check the width but as you can see the width isn't always the tracks. It's also, you've also got to look at the, the top half of the machine like the sidewalks and that are generally wider. So the tape measure will dictate whether they need a pilot vehicle. What's our width there, Nick? It's about 3,400. That's so 3.4. Yep. So with, with that width of 3.4, we'll need a, at least a Class 2 pilot. Back in the office, Peter's going to get Nick to plan the route. How are you finding it so far? It's great, thank you. Good, mate. OK, so next step now is um, we've got to do a route server. So we'll type in the address um, and destination and just keep in the back of your mind that the shortest route is not the always the best route for us, so we'll swap seats, let you go into it. So Nick takes the hot seat, and a few minutes later, he's worked out a route plan. But as Peter knows, while the journey looks OK on screen, the reality may be different. They need to check it out in person. And we've got to look for overhead structures, the signposts that's sticking out in the road, uh, the shape of the corners as such. And it's not long before Peter spots a major problem. This bridge. Um, is a, what we class as a do not go, so we're not allowed to bring any heavy weights over it. So we'll just stop and I'll explain to you why we can't cross this bridge. We've got up to 69 tonne at the moment transporting this machine. The bridge is only good for 44 tonne, so we have to now go back and find another route on how to get the machine to the destination. Back at the office, Peter helps Nick to work out a route that he's very familiar with and knows won't have any hazards. It's time to get the digger on the truck. The 38-ton Hyundai is a massive piece of complex machinery that must be lined up precisely on the trailer to avoid disaster. But for William, it's all in a day's work. Really, really unlucky because I started out as a young fellow on big machinery, so I've, do I've done that uh, all my life. I've been around it, so I can jump I can, and I can turn my hand to anything. So it is tricky, but yeah, with the right people showing you how to do it, it makes the job a lot easier and with day to day doing it all the time you actually get better and better at operating the machines. With the load secure, they are ready to roll. Almost. OK Nick, we're going to... The office has just emailed us a supplementary licence for the extra weight that we're carrying, over 42 tonne, so I'll just print it out on the printer over here. 
This wireless printing system saves the company time and money, allowing the drivers to spend less time chasing paper and more time at the wheel. And there it is. With the pilot vehicle stopping traffic in both directions, the big rig leaves the yard. Then they set off in a convoy with one pilot vehicle ahead and one behind. MITO, the New Zealand Motor Industry Training Organisation, works with the industry to develop fit for purpose and relevant qualifications for the road transport sector. Not many people get to do this every day. Nah, that's right. I don't think I could stand sitting in an office. Nah. This is my office, I suppose, but yeah, at least you get to get outside. <laughs> Leaving the suburbs behind, they tackle the steep climb up the Albany Hill. Despite the terrible weather, there are no problems. Halfway through the journey comes the first major hazard. They are permitted to cross this bridge, but only in the centre. All clear to go, Willie. All clear to go. We're just looking for um, young people coming out of school, uh, male or female, doesn't matter. So if they get into the industry, it's just a satisfaction that they can do um, something that's a wee bit unique if it comes to heavy haulage. Um, you go from 10 tonne machines up to, we, we can go up to 82 tonne machines and it's just a challenge and personally satisfaction of getting the job done at the end of the day, safely without no minimal damage. So how is young Nick done as a potential heavy haulage driver? He's not scared to get his hands dirty which is what we need in this industry and um, we hope to see him back one day as a truck driver carting machines around. I've had a great time. I've learnt a lot and Peter and William have shown me what to do and I'd be more than keen to take this up as a career. MITO facilitates training for drivers in the heavy haulage industry including the National Certificate in Heavy Haulage, Transportation and Class 1 Pilot. These programs are designed to teach the skills required to safely load and operate an over-dimensional vehicle and pilot vehicles. For more information visit mito.org.nz. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand On Air.